Hello everyone, my name is Flair Blissy, and we returned back to One Beat Hard. Now we are with Misane, getting that pr pronunciation correct. There's only two characters I've found out that have correct pronunciations. The other ones don't have really have an explanation towards them on the internet, so probably be very game focused. Okay, so we need to see Nan Nanase. So let's see what's up then. Morning, Misane Chan. Good morning, did you get some rest? Have you ever seen me wary? You being a former shut-in, I do have to wonder where you get your stamina. Sleeping takes a lot of energy, apparently. That's only supposed to be for the elderly. While you may not sense that you're tired, Nanasi, your body still may, still may be... You think so? Indeed. Have you seen... So, have your senses dulled, perhaps? Mm. Mm. Maybe. I sense some fatigue in that response. Why don't we relax somewhere? Where to? Hmm, where else is there? For now, let's head by the lobby. Okay. Head by the lobby, most certain there. Who is this room rented out to? Yeah, who does that belong to? And why is there a door missing? Greetings. Ah, hey, you there. A moment. Do you mean me? Yes, yes, I just wanted to ask you something. Have you seen a stern guy with blonde hair? Or a smiling guy with black hair around? Blonde hair or black hair? No, I haven't seen anyone. Uh, really? Hmm. Where'd they get to? Are they lost? Maybe something like that. They're always going off on their own. Are you siblings? Oh, no, no, we're classmates. I'm a music student. Ah, that's wonderful. E, there you are. What you're doing up here, Ashley? Hush, shush. That's what I should be saying. Just you, Nemoto. Where's Satsuka? Oh, him. Said he was going to the foot bath. Again? Satsuka says... So, Satsuka sure likes his baths, doesn't he? Say, that's alcohol, isn't it? Hmm? Oh, this, yeah. It's what it looks like. You and your beer. I certainly hope you won't pass out drunk again. It's fine, it's fine. Sorry, Satsuka's there. And Satsuka's drinking too, isn't he? Uh, maybe. <sighs> Sorry to intrude, but how is the foot bath? Does it soothe the heart? Soothe the heart? Hmm. I guess it might improve blood circulation, sure. Not really what I meant, but thank you very much. So then, shall we go to the foot bath? What do you mean, so then? Well... I suppose there's nothing else to go. There's nowhere else to go. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, sure, if you want. And if you see Sasuke at the foot bath, could you tell him someone's looking for him? All right, that's fine. Sorry to ask. Thanks. Well, what are you? What the hell are you going to be doing, Ashley? So you're saying, Misen, Misen But you didn't ask that woman her name or learn that much about Sasuke. Oh? Mm. Are you feeling tired? I think the white-haired lady was Ashley, and Satsuka is someone with black hair, just judging from that conversation. Sorry about that, thank you very much. It's fine, for now, let's relax at the foot bath. Indeed. Mm. But why are you not looking for your friend? Foot bath. And here's the foot bath. So this is the foot bath. It smells nice. It's soothing me before you can step in. Well, Nana C, go right ahead. Huh? You're not going in, Misan Chat? Misa Chat? Misa Nay? I don't really like to go barefoot in public. No way. How could you say that when you wear a skirt that short? I only chose this for the design. Wah. Wow. Oh well. Oh well. I've never done this before. Enough to say. It's nice and warm and great. Nana C is really not one for giving a report on anything. Ouch! Hmm? What was that, a crab? A crab in a foot bath? Yeah, it's me. Huh? This crab is? Yeah, yeah, but hey, isn't it kind of looking kind of red? Maybe it got boiled. Might be your fault, mister. What? Gotta ask a three million yen fine, pay up. Wow, only three million for forgiveness. Please stop it, excuse me, but your name is... Hmm. 
I'm gonna guess that your name is Normary. Hey, huh? Me? Yeah, I'm Normary. But right now, who really cares, right? I just wanted to make sure. So this definitely isn't Satsuka. Those things you're wearing are really something, huh, miss? Is that what the other guy is intro into? Huh? That's rude. Obviously, Misane chan is cutest with a cat ears. Uh, well, whatever. Is that the kind of relationship you two got? We're partners in law. What you do? Mm. I summon up instances and Misane solves them. Know what my old nickname was? No idea. Nat Nashi Early Disaster. So, like, shouldn't nobody want you around? You have a point. Excuse me, have you seen someone with black hair? Black hair? Yeah, I know all about that. Do you really? Hmm, but. I'm not gonna tell. Um. Smell ya! And there he goes. What do we do now? Even supposing we do see him later, I don't think we need to do anything necessarily. No, I meant with this crab. Perhaps release it somewhere a little cooler. Got it. Ah, that was a great foot bath. You alright, me, Sene Chan? I'll enjoy it when you're not around, Nana C. Ah, oh, that mean. Let's get going. Okay, yeah, mean indeed. Uh, this way? No. Why summon me here? There's nothing else to do. Okay. Let's look around then. Oh. Phew, sorry. The time flew by before I knew it. I'll bet you were just dead drunk. It was you again. Sasaka came back on his own. He was at a football. So you must have just passed each other. I plan on going back there again, though. Hmm? Where's Namoto? He went off looking for you. Oh really? Terribly sorry. <sighs> I was hoping we could talk about the next competition. We can't just get us all in one piece. The photograph again. Huh? You guys from Blue Sun College of Music, yeah? Huh? Yes we are, and... Well, see ya. I figure I'll never get to talk of anybody from those big time colleges who sweep the competition, so... Plus, you're that tree I've heard it so much about. Is why I take your photo? I believe you're doing so already. Ah, force of habit. The thing this job does to you. You want this photo? Um, uh, no, I'm fine. Uh, why not, though? It comes out real nice, see? Oh, no. I just can't handle touching things other people have touched. Well, fat and filth. Uh, well, and also... Uh, don't worry about it. Sasuke's kind of a germophobic. You look pretty young. Are you a photographer or what? <laughs> Names... Don't know how to pronounce this. Amru Hatakana. I'm a reporter. Amru, you're just as energetic as before. Gotta do work to get fed. So can I ask you two to introduce yourself? <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, I'm Ashley, one of the up-and-coming free musketeers of piano. Sorry about all the... About, sorry, sorry about all the clamor. Come on, Satsuka, now you go. Right. I'm Satsuka Fushumi. I don't have any particular forte like the other two, but regards. And I'm not seeing the other guy, he's on the John. <laughs> that means on the toilet. <laughs> right, no matter, he's gone off somewhere or another. Let's go look for a certain someone. Huh? <laughs> uh, man. Hope to talk with the whole trio. Are these people famous? They're the Blue Sun Trio. All three have won gold medals in piano competitions, and I'd say they're getting some attention in the piano world. So are you too busy now, or... Um, can we go look for Namato, or... Why do we also have to... Oi, Hatakana's direction daft and not a good searcher, so... We'll just be searching haphazardly anyway. We don't have any real goals. Maybe we'll see him if we loiter around in the right places. That's true. And it would be like a patrol in a sense. So sorry to keep asking. We'll say put so if you could. It's no problem. If we find him, we'll tell you you're here. I don't like the fact that you're always just being stationary here. 
Maybe not here. But yeah, a really rare phrase to be used on the job, but it is on the toilet. Or in the toilets. Nothing that way. Garden. Ah, there are two people here. Schnubel, I better do what I'm able to. And you. Ah, could it be? Uh, you must be uh, Mr. Amoto. That's Namoto to you. What, you got a bone to pick? No bones, no bones at all. Just want to talk to you is all. Talk? Uh, see you're a photographer or something. Don't wanna. Ah, uh, why is that? What do you think of me playing piano? See, that look. You're thinking I don't look the part. Tired of it. That's not it at all. Huh? I've got a friend who's looking like a real rebel and also plays piano, so I'm not surprised at all. In fact, for this pottery makes it cute. <laughs> Is that right? He's also similar in the way he shows his happiness. By the way, Ashley he was looking for you. Ashley was? What about Sakaka? She found him. Oh. Went right by him, huh? Alright, thanks a bunch. Ah, oh, better go with and do my thing. What are you two gonna do? Right, I'd like to relax here a bit. Okay, Ben, we're resting here. Gotcha, gotcha, thanks for the help. Misane chan, you like this place? Yeah, it's the most calming so far. Well, that whole incident happened just yesterday. Let's take it easy now. Indeed, let's take a break. Ah. Hmm? Hey there, good day. You don't look too cheery. Are you alright? Is it obvious? Not so much. I'm just perspective. It happens when you get along with plants. That obvious guy seems a little troubled too. The other guy? Namato? Yeah, that's probably the one. You can rest if you're tired. It's good to follow your instincts in moderation. Though they can sometimes turn against you. What's the matter? Oh, uh, well, your words have this pleasant feeling, Schnobel. They're somehow calming. Oh, really? I don't usually get compliments, so I'm good at blush. What about me? I've already been with you a long time, Nancy. You should know already. I'm not psychic, so you have to use words or I won't know. But you do have the ability along those lines, don't you? Well, I don't really need to figure you out, Misane. Uh, is that fact? <laughs> you know, it's a great relationship when you don't need words. Oh, is it a time already? Better get you your food. Or you give it. You give the cats their food, Shinobu? Nah, not usually. It's just that Koza isn't back yet. Still in question, I suppose. He said to be able to get back by tonight. I wonder what happened. Uh, well, isn't it about time to eat you, you two? You're right. Shall we go, Nancy? Yep. Okay, bye now. Yep. Goodbye for the moment. Lobby. Hmm. No one in the foot bath? No. None of the sort. I was just testing to see if the screen would move. Well then, I'll eat and get some sleep. Won't you gain weight sleeping right after eating? I'll make up for it with a lot of moving after around, around afterwards. Will you be alright without sleep, Nancy? I got plenty of sleep in as a shut-in, so... I'm not sure that means anything. If you wake up and don't have anything to do, come over to my room. Right, I'll do so. Alright, bye. Phew. That felt like a long nap. Perhaps I was more tired than I realised. I'm not especially tired now. I suppose I'll go to Nancy's room like he said. Yeah, good idea. Save first, though. And here we are. Hey, Misuna chan, did you sleep well? Yes, more so than I thought I would. Oh, yeah, that's good. What were you doing by yourself? Playing mobile games? You really enjoy your games. When you're like me and can't invest money, all you can do is invest time. Please don't do that on the job. No worries, because when I'm on the job, you're more interested in me than Um, hmm? It's real bad! Nancy, Missane, so bad! Um, what's going on? There's been an incident! 
An incident? S somebody somebody's been killed again where um, right at the foot bath let's go now see right oh dear looks like there's going to be another series of interrogations with Ashley and the others who the hell's no who the hell's died this time is it a crab Oh my. I think a bit has been taken off from the bottom. This is mm. Satsuka. There's this beer by the bath. Did he, like, get drunk and fall asleep? The cause of death was not drowning. It appeared it was poison. Poison? Yes. And a fast acting one. Poison. Did somebody give it to him? That's not certain. All we can see is that this was no accident. Indeed, let's start by investigating the scene. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Is there something wrong? Mm. Just felt somebody there. There. Hiding behind a tree, right? You. Hmm? Yeah, I was here the whole time, sure. Sort of seems like the guy got hairy, huh? Did you see anything happen here? Hmm, not so much. It wasn't here, but I saw the white-haired lady and the blonde guy talking. So the three of them got together after we last saw them. Alright, I'll go get them. I'll tell them to gather in the lobby again. I'll be counting on you. Okay, Nomori, will you come with me? Why? Uh, Is this one of those we have a few questions for you things? I shall be happy if you come along. A little more sincere. Please come, I'm begging you. I'll do literally anything. Hmm, decent, alright, fine. In that case, we'll investigate over here. Roger that! Yeah. I'm ready to go any time. Okay. Nanasi's waiting down below. We've got to do what has to be done by us. Indeed. That is investigate. Me? I'm curious about this beer. It does appear he was drinking in the foot bath. I can't say it would be a clue or not, however. I'm going to take some nice photos. Hmm. Yeah. Always about the photos with you. Well, they seem completely oblivious. You must have seen some murder scenes your time as a photographer. This is where the victim's body was. Died of poisoning, was lying dead in the foot bath. The cause of death was poison. It appears to be a fast acting one. The victim's body was lying down here after being poisoned. Perhaps he was just he just fell forward. Also detected was cold medicine. Cold medicine, huh? Cold medicine detected along the alcohol and poison. A common cold medicine. And the order they were ingested in was cold medicine, alcohol, poison. Order of intake. The substance found in the victim's body entered in this order. Cold medicine, alcohol, poison. You can even know stuff like that? Yes, but it's hard to say right now if this information would be of much help. Of anything. Man, technology's been pushed real far ahead when I wasn't looking. Over here. The water was so clean and clear before. No one has, would have pictured a corpse sinking into it. But why would I explain his legs being completely missing? Uh, when I think of it like that, I think I might be too scared to use a foot bar for a while. Just think, somebody's grabbing you by the leg and... Uh, it's not as if you could sink all that deep. Yeah, the foot bath isn't exactly that long. Although you could still possibly drown someone as long as the, the water itself is thick enough. Or you just plant them face down into the water, regardless of how shallow it is. Not much has changed here. The area is largely the same as when we came earlier. You think Satsuka like? Struggled in the water and flailed about? Hmm. I don't see many signs of splashing to indicate that. Perhaps because it was immediate, or he lacked the power to resist. Crime scene. The scene was not especially messy, with no evident signs of struggle. Hmm. Yeah, because the poison would indicate that the lack of strength would be applied. Therefore, there wouldn't be a struggle. Uh, yeah, it doesn't like the sort of place where a struggle went down. If he was forced to be given the poison, I think he would struggle a little more. Hmm. It looks like a sign explaining the benefits of the foot bath. Wet body. The victim's body hole was wet when discovered. It was just a foot bath, so Sakasa got his whole body wet. Died of poison was lying in the foot bath. 
Hmm. Died of poisoning or died of drowning whilst being poisoned. That he did. Likely just because he fell in, of course. I suppose I'll note the specifics just in case. Yeah, note the specifics. Note absolutely anything and everything, no matter how minute it is. No matter how specific it is. This is wine, I suppose. Wine sitting next to the foot bath. The same poison was detected in it. The label is absent. But I believe it is wine, yes. But And also, I've detected a small quantity of poison. Do you drink misane? I'm still a miner. What? So sorry about that. You're so on top of yourself. I thought you were a tiny adult. Yes. I'm often told I'm quite diligent for my age. That's a compliment, you know. I'm aware. And that's the crime scene. Poisoned wine? I think he drank this and died, but... You don't suppose he put it in to drink it and drank it himself, right? No, somebody had to insert it. By all means, I like to deny the possibility, of course. Perhaps Sakata met someone here and had this poison mixed into his drink. But he's not a guy who leaves an opening just like that. I mean, just the impression I got interviewing him about. In which case, an acquaintance would be more likely. Hmm. Though, even if it was a friend, he seemed a defensive type. Then I wonder how the culprit was able to get this poison into the wine that Sakata was drinking. Mm -hmm. No dice. Oh, Hatsukata's brain can't figure it out, none. We can't count on the culprit being so thoughtless. That we can't figure it out with, with just what's in this area. All the more so if it's the same culprit. You mean the same culprit as Miyuri? Well, I prefer to think there aren't multiple murders here. Though, in her case, some put her up to a murder, which would mean there are multiple perpetrators. Talk about a spineless do bad a coward. In any event, we'll just take this evidence and go see Nancy and the others down below. Loud and clear. Mm -hmm. So that would mean a lovely return. And a lovely sale as well. Excellent. And here we are. Yeah? I wanted to ask you some things. Hmm? Uh, alright. First, you're here because you're involved in this case. Hmm? Yeah? Guess it's like that. Oh yeah, I saw it, alright. That thing you want to know about so bad. Could you possibly tell us? Hmm? I wonder if I should. Well, okay, just for you, alright? I was over there playing around. Guy with the black hair was sitting there. Got curious and started peeking at him. Did anything catch your eye? Not so much. Oh yeah. If I had to say, I guess that's how he didn't drink booze he had with him. Untouched alcohol. It seems to cut and never drink the alcohol he was holding. He didn't drink it? Yeah. Just sat there like a dummy. Maybe he was waiting for somebody. I see. That's curious that he didn't drink it. He doesn't even want to show the Nomori right now. Uh, okay, you're okay. Hmm. Sataka. Is it really true that Sataka's dead and, and that he was killed? I know you must be deeply shaken by the death of your friend. It can't be easy to do, but would you talk for me? Yes, yeah, anything I can do. First of all, Sataka was at the football during the day as well. Can I take that as a certainty? That's right, with a drink in hand. He told me he was going to the foot bath and left the room. But I should have gone with him, if this was going to happen, since he had a cold too. A cold? Yes, I think he's always been prone to sickness, and it's worrying for him to be drinking with a cold. Since he, since he didn't seem well. Sataka's actions. After Sataka returned from the foot bath, it seems he went there again. After I asked you to to find him and he came back, I believe he went to the foot bath again. Once more? Did he also have alcohol with him then? Yes, that he did. I said drinking again, and he just grinned and said, Yeah. I see. I wonder if she knows anything about the wine. Hmm. Why did he go there again? Um, wine. You said he was carrying a drink. Would it be his bottle of wine? Ah, yes, I didn't see it clearly. But I know there was no label. I think this is the one. 
though it's a little odd. Tataka, he doesn't usually drink wine. He'll drink it if he needs to, like a gathering with teachers there, but it's, if it's up to him, he hardly ever does. Tataka's taste, Tataka rarely drink, drink wine unless the situation called for it. Is that so? Maybe this could be proved useful somewhere. Hmm, anything else? Victim? Crime scene? No evidence. Um, cold medicine. What else could it be? Wet body. No, there's something else I need to present. Mm, order of intake. What do you... Tataka's taste, untouched alcohol. Oh. What else am I meant to present to you? Tataka's actions. There's nothing else to present. Then why are we getting the option that we need to... Oh, I don't know. Okay. Well then. Seems things are coming together a little. Nancy, where were you? And why were you... Why do you have someone on your shoulder? Mm. Uh, well, I wanted to call someone else over. Problem was, he wouldn't wake up. Nemoto? Uh, I could smell booze on you. Were you drinking again? Uh, yeah. Then I got to snoozing. Also, um, I'm not as strong as I look. So is it okay if I let you down now? Sure, my bad. You're free to just sit there until you sober up. Especially considering what just happened. Hmm? Did something mm -hmm. happen? Did Nancy not tell you? Tell me, what's up? Someone has killed Satika. What'd you say? Someone murdered Satika at the foot bath. He was poisoned. Poisoned? No, why? How could that? As one would expect, he's shaken to hear his friend is dead. Ashley, please stay at Nomota's side. Firstly, Normary, may I talk with you? Huh? Me first, huh? Okay, fine. Then please testify. More testimonies now. Oh yeah, I saw it. There at the fat, a fat foot bath. The guy with the black hair was sitting down. Just sat. Just sat there and sat there. I wonder what he was doing. Didn't try to talk to him or nothing, though. He didn't even sip on the booze he had with him. You think he was waiting for somebody? Maybe. So then I'm thinking, maybe that person sipped, slipped in the poison, then forced him to drink it. Something like that, you know. What do you think? Well, if it was forcefully sipped, there would be signs of signs of struggle. Something like that, you know. What do you think? Force him to drink it. That part does catch my attention. As do some of the other statements. Let's search around and see if there's anything here. I should check what I've noted so far. So we've got the victim. We've got the wine. We've got a crime scene. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't something especially amazing with no evidence signs of struggle. Just like the other victim was. Wet body um, floating around, I suspect. Detected alongside the alcohol and poison of common cold medicine. Hmm. Order of intake. The substance found in the victim's body entered in this order. Cold medicine, alcohol, poison. Sazaka doesn't usually drink wine. And touched alcohol. Okay. Yes, I would like to say thank you very much. Okay, good luck. Interrogation. Oh uh, yeah, I saw it. That football the guy with black hair was sitting down. About when was this? Hmm, probably about noon or a little later. Then I suppose it would be Sasuke who he saw. Next. Ask more. And you just watched nothing else? 
Sure did. I was sneaky because I didn't want to be found out. May I ask you to elaborate? Well, the same prank I played on you guys. I also played on a guy with black hair. He would have let you to be super hard. You reap what you sow. He didn't even sip on the booze he had with him. You think he was waiting for somebody? Maybe. Did it look as he was waiting, awaiting someone? Oh yeah, he was glancing around here and there. I'd be pretty sure he was waiting on somebody. Perhaps he was. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Next. So I'm thinking maybe a person has slipped, slipped in the poison and then forced him to drink it. And why do you think that? People don't drink poison because they want to, do they? Did you miss Kitty ears? The detectives who lick things to check for poison, so it's possible I might also. Wouldn't advise it, I suppose. Hmm, something like that, you know. What do you think? I see. The person he was waiting for forced him to drink. Could something like that have happened? Hmm. We'll see. Nomori, you claimed he was forced to drink the poison. However, there's no sign of such a struggle at the crime scene. Huh? Suppose he was waiting for someone. It's likely that someone would have been an acquainted self attackers. However, even in that case, if they forced him to ingest poison, he would obviously resist, so long as he didn't seek death himself. No way, Sasaka couldn't be thinking anything like that. No doubt, he was a moody guy, but real bold. Can't imagine he would want to die. Then that makes it all the more unthinkable that the poison was forced upon him. Don't know all about that, huh? The guy with the black hair, he had a pretty sour look. Maybe there was something on his mind, and he was just keeping it secret from his friends. Something on his mind? It couldn't be. And why wouldn't Sataka talk to us about it? Besides, he just said he was going to drink at the foot bath. He didn't say he was meeting anyone. Hmm. But if it was bad enough to want to die, makes sense he wouldn't mention it. Because if you say you're going to die, someone's going to stop you. Especially you wouldn't want to tell friends like you guys, right? Listen, you brat. If you're trying to rile us up any more, stop Nomato. It would be terrible if it was true, of course. But it's not out of the question either. We still don't know anything in any real sense. Once we know the truth of this case, I'm sure we'll also know what Sataka was thinking. Yes, that's exactly it. And whatever the truth is, I'll accept it. Now then, Ashley, could you testify next? Yes, understood. Testimony. Sataka told me he was going to drink at the foot bath, then left the room. I didn't really uh, I didn't really hear anything about him drinking with anyone. He was just left on his own, carrying that wine. But if I'd known this was going to happen, I should have gone with him. He also had that cold. I'll bet someone took advantage of Sataka's drunkenness, poisoned his drink, and killed him that way. Sataka, I see. Poisoned, poisoned thanks to him being drunk, huh? Well, it's not improbable. Let's think about this. Taking into account what the others have said. I should check what I've noticed so far. Died of poisoning. Um, wet body, crime scene, cold medicine, order didn't take, untouched alcohol. Yeah, untouched. 
That seems to be something. Absolutely. Okay, good luck. Interrogation. So Taka told me he was going to drink at the foot bath and left the room. Were you able to ask him why? I wasn't. I did say drinking again though. I see. Next. Ask more. Do you know what kind of wine it was? Oh, so I can't remember. I only saw it for a second. I didn't know the brand at all. Right, that's perfectly fine. But does she remove the la label itself? For how long had he had a cold? Since a few days ago. But he was coughing a lot before that. He was pr pretty prone to sickness. I think he also stayed up late into the night practicing piano. Yes, he really pushed himself to his limits. So he was hard on himself. Next. I bet someone took advantage of Sataka's drunkenness, poisoned his drink and killed him that way. Was he a drinking sort? Yes, yeah, Sataka and Nomoto both swim in it. They're rather heavy drinkers. I don't drink as much as that, but I mean, if I couldn't stand beer, we might never have ended up friends. Hmm. I felt like there was a statement later to this. Hmm. Sataka. I see. Poisoning the wine he was drinking to, to kill him. Something doesn't add up. Hmm. Hmm. But the wine was never opened, though. Yeah. Actually, you're suggesting that a culprit took advantage of his drunkenness to poison him. But at least while Sataka was sitting there waiting, he never, never even sipped on his drink. Huh? Which would mean Sataka being drunk rather unlikely, don't you think? Ah, but ain't that still a chance he just went whole hog on it after they met up? No, I don't think that would happen. With only a few exceptions, Sataka tried to avoid getting very drunk when drinking with others. He said he didn't want people to see him acting indecent. Right, you? It's Nomori. You gotta actually use my name. Um, Nomori. Did you see who he was meeting with? You wanna know? Do you know? Hmm, depends. Well, if you know, if you know, uh, will you please tell us? Wow, well, scary. Don't mess up that pretty face, white haired lady. Well, you gotta refer to Ashley by her name as well, Nomori. Huh? There, the blonde haired guy. Nimoto? What? Why? Calm down, Ashley. Nimoto, did you meet Sataka at the bath? For bath? Yeah, I did. Why? Why would you hide it? Well, we had a fight, me and him. A fight? Not like a punching kind of fight. It, it wasn't a big thing. Plus, he was the one who called me to the bath. Sataka called for you? Could I ask? you to talk about this in detail. Yeah. Check the crews themselves. I went to the football after the call because Sataka asked me to. The two of us often had a chat over drinks, so I figured this would be like it. What we talked about was all private stuff, so I don't think it's got any bearing on this. And, well... We wrapped up our conversation then I left. Had no idea it'd come to this after that. Damn it, why'd it have to happen? Hmm, a fight. Though he wouldn't tell us what transpired, it'd be nice if we could find out somehow. I should have noticed so far. So we've already got the intake of the crime scene and the untouched alcohol. Victim, wine, wet body. Order of intake, cold medicine, Sataka's actions. 
Um, yes, I would love to say thank you. Okay, good luck. Oh, you say retro with me every single time. That's really nice. I went to the footpath because Satako asked me to. Okay. When did he call you there? Uh, probably after lunch or so. The three of us ate together. As we were splitting up, he told me to come by later. Nothing usual about a response. The two of us often have a chat over drinks, so I figured this would be like that. Did you do this rather so did you do this rather frequently? Yeah, pretty often. When we get some drinks in at us, our hearts open up. Cause sometimes it meant our opinions clashed, but it helped us know each other, so we kept doing it. Then today wasn't necessarily unique, I take it. Hmm. When we talked about well, what we talked about was all private stuff, so I don't think it's got any bearings on this. What do you mean by private? Uh, you know, the competition is coming up. It was that sort of stuff. Nothing to do with this case, I bet. Is it irrelevant? No, this information could be important. Should I press further? Most certainly. You say it's not relevant, but right now, I'm seeking all the information I can get. Would you be able to tell us what you talked about in more detail? It may be difficult to talk about, but this is for Sataka's sake. For Sataka. Yeah, alright. Well, the piano competition is coming up. We were talking about that. And saying he said got me a little steamed. But it turned into an argument. I see. Is it that hard to talk about? It wasn't just this time. It actually happened a bunch before, too. Ashley's a warrior. And the competition's close. So I didn't want to put any more burden on her. Why? You you realise Sataka's dead? For a reason like that? How could you hide this? That's wrong. Look, consider my perspective. I argued with him and left. And then I found out he was dead. Right. Nomori? Uh? Did you see what kind of fight Sataka and Nomoto had? Mm? Well, you know, this place is all sweaty. Want to stick around long unless I had a good reason. So you didn't see anything after the two met. That's what that means. Super Sai couldn't help and all. <sighs> In that case, I think I'd like to question Namato a little more. Hold on a second. There's no reason to suspect Namato yet. Is there? He's certainly not the type to kill someone. We could say that about anybody. Mm. But at the moment, you should be the person most likely to know something. But, but, then shouldn't I be suspicious to you for having known him for so long? She seems a little bewildered. Very well then, we'll heal from Ashley and try to calm her down while we're at it. Another testimony. <clears throat> if you suspect Nomoto, shouldn't you suspect me too? Because we're friends. Even if they had a fight, there's no reason to kill a person. If they were that hateful, our relationship would have fallen apart long ago. Um, I would have put a girl on the next line. But then, why? Just who could have? Sataka, why did he drink that poison and wine? He didn't drink for wine, it was completely unopened. We haven't necessarily concluded he's a culprit yet, but it's her friend who's under suspicion. I wonder how we could calm her down. I should check what I've noted so far. Victim, wine, hmm. wet body, crime scene, cold medicine, order vintage, untouched alcohol. So we've only done untouched alcohol and crime scene so far. Yes, I do love it very often to save every single time because that is so useful in case you fail. Okay, good luck. You're back. Oh no, that's just the wrong sprite that loaded up, that's all. I was thinking, why is the engineer back? I thought he left long ago. Now, uh, if you suspect Nomoto, shouldn't you suspect me too because we're friends? We've concluded nothing yet. But you think Nomoto is the most suspicious, don't you? At present. It seems the motor is one who would be withholding information. Then, 
But maybe I'm also hiding so will you stop being so defensive? She's acting on emotion. Yeah. Your thoughts on their fighting? I wasn't aware of it at all. They must be both hidden it. They must have both hidden it for her sake. It seemed they were all friendly. But then why well, we just could have do you have any ideas? It seems she really doesn't. What are you thinking, Ashley? Well, obviously someone made him drink it. Suzaka was the kind of person to speak his mind. And there were a number of people who opposed him. She says the culprit had his drink with poison. Come to think of it, didn't he drink something else? I see. Drank that poison and wine. Was it really all it was? Hmm. So the guy drank more than poison and wine. Huh? He had also taken cold medicine. Cold medicine? Is something the matter? Well, Satanaka doesn't have any cold medicine. He said he'd go buy some tomorrow if it was still bad, but at the time I don't think he would have any. In other words, it's possible he got cold medicine from someone he met at a foot bath. If that's the case, it increases the likelihood that this person knew Satanaka had a cold. That can't be. Are there any other acquaintances of yours here at this hotel? N no, not that I know everyone Tataka knows, but as far as I know, there shouldn't be anyone. This hotel is also quite a ways from where I where we live. In that case, the most suspicious person continues to be... But wait, maybe Tataka had some cold resin when he talked to me, and I just didn't notice it. And also, it's possible he was lying to me. That's Ron. Hey, hey. You got a sec? What is it? Oh, you know. The white-haired lady just seems so sad. I was feeling bad for her. Don't be such a bully, Miss Kitty Ears. We need to find a culprit, culprit as soon as possible. That may only get harder if the more time passes. Well then, want to hear what I think? What you think? What I think is, the guy with the black hair, maybe he killed himself. I mean... So I things between him and the blonde guy were getting strained lately. Maybe... We stop putting more interpretations upon this, Nomori. That's more likely to think that you're going to be the culprit here. Maybe I put him in a bad place. Fighting with his friend would get him real depressed. He'd be thinking, I don't want to fight. I don't want him to hate me. Maybe... We stop thinking of assumptions. He'd be thinking, I don't want to fight. I don't want him to hate me. Maybe that got to be all he could think about. And he figured he should just... He should just off himself. The possibility of suicide is non isn't non-existent. Then show me what's weird about my story. That's your whole job, isn't it? Hey. Uh, perhaps I could find a lead here. Let's listen to him if, if only to sort all this out. More testimonies. <laughs> Me, I'm thinking the black haired guy killed himself, you know. I mean, things were strange between them, right? That probably put him in a bad place. Mr. Blackhair probably didn't want any more dispute, so as soon as the blonde guy left, he downed the poison and died. Hmm, see? Doesn't that tie everything up? Hmm, I can't completely disclose it's impossible. Right, but it's better to consider multiple possibilities. Cold medicine, alcohol, poison. There's still an influx of that order. 
Ron Sprite again. Me, I'm thinking the black head guy killed himself, you know. What information led you to think that? Well, because they were fighting. That could have made him fed up with all of it all. I'm about to get to that anyway. I mean, what a strange, bad place. Did he appear depressed to you? Hmm? I guess he had a pretty serious look. That guy always has a serious look, though. Be right about that. And did you see him drink it? Well, nah. But it was after the guy he met left. So it'd be have to be Mr. Blackhair drinking it himself, right? Logically speaking, that's correct. But I wonder if that's how it really went. Tired up. I mean, what else is there? There's still something, surely. Some thread I can follow. Wet body, victim, wine. Once in the conflict, he drank the poison himself. But if that's what it was, then. Great. He said he promptly downed a poison, but the order they entered his body in was cold medicine, then wine, then poison. As such, I believe we can't rule this to be a suicide. Poison last? Why would Sakata have had beer after the medicine and then drink the poison last? At what point was he putting them into his mouth willingly? Or otherwise, did the culprit convince him to drink all three? Well, say the culprit convinced him to do it. Then that definitely makes the killer one of his friends. It was me. Hmm? I gave Sataka the cold medicine. What? Could you tell us more? Yeah. What well, just a moly this time around? It's me who brought him the cold medicine, because he had a cold. I gave it to him and said, go back to your room and drink up. After that, we had our fight. Then I left right away. Past that, I didn't see him. No signs of struggle, just fell over and got his front drenched. So I don't want to think about it, but maybe it was suicide. Thinking how I might have been the cause, in a way, I... No. I guess we can't ask him now. No. That's all I got. So he gave him the cold medicine, but it wasn't goodwill. I guess that's what he's saying, and he says that when, but and he's saying that when he went back to his room, he didn't know Sataka was dead. I'm sure this will be the end. I hope this will come to a clean conclusion. I should have noticed so far. So we've done order of intake. We've done untouched alcohol. We've done crime scene. Hmm. Never drink wine. Victim, wine, wet body. So it's most likely someone actually put him in the foot bath after he died to try and wash up any evidence. Okay, good luck. Ron Sprite again. It's me who brought him the cold medicine because he had a cold. I gave it to him and said to go back to your mouth and drink up. So you won't ask to get it for him, but rather did so independently. Yeah, 
He was already he was always getting sick and all. And you were just in your room afterwards? Yeah. I was either sleeping or drinking there mostly. Is that right? While he looks nothing definite, judging from his current level of sobriety, I expect he was drinking pretty much the whole time. He thinks this hacker killed himself. From what I'm hearing, there's no sign of another party, so what else is there but suicide? Namoto did say he went back to his room before Sataka died. Thinking how I might have been the cause, in a way, I... No, I guess we couldn't ask him for that. If you were the cause, even if it wasn't completely my fault, I could have, like, kicked things off, you know. If I did, I felt really terrible, for sure. Even I couldn't have done nothing about it. Hmm. That's all you've got. I see. I feel like he made a clearly odd statement. Hmm. got his front drenched. About that statement, we found Sataka's body to be wet on both sides. I believe we only told you that Sataka had died in a foot bath. If we just delivered the medicine and left, wouldn't it be difficult to have that kind of knowledge? What? Nomoto? That's enough. I can't accept, I can't accept anything, so please, tell us everything, Nomoto. I, I still, there's still, there's still things I don't get either. Things you don't get? I gave him cold medicine and beer. I brought him his favourite kind. The poison. I didn't have anything to do with that. Nomoto, if you're going to keep lying even now, it ain't a lie. This is the truth this time. Well, what can we make of this? There was something I was curious about. Regarding the alcohol detected in Sataka's body, there were actually two reactions. Two. The, mere, the beer Nimoto just mentioned, as well as wine, mm. are familiar with the brands Yabacha Beer and Bononga. Oh, those were Nimato. So, those are what Nimato and Sataka always drinks. Wine. Is there something about Sataka and wine? Sataka and wine doesn't usually drink it. Hold on. According to Ashley's testimony, Sataka doesn't tend to drink wine. Is that right? Yes, he would drink it with others if he needed to, but he wouldn't drink it just because he wanted to. And Namata went to meet Sataka bringing beer. I suppose he intended to give him that beer. Yeah, that's right. Then the white Sataka was carrying, perhaps it was intended to be given to Namato. Oh, that's true. Namato does like wine much more than beer, but... But if that's what was happening, doesn't that lead us to somewhere somewhere strange? Somewhere strange? What's strange in light with what we was just talked about? Uh, what's strange in light of what we just talked about? Uh, come on. Untouched, cold medicine, wine, yeah, that's wrong, that's right, the poison was also detected in the wine, in the wine then, Nemoto, did you drink this wine, nah, I didn't, the bee you intended to give Sataka wasn't presented at a crime scene, I presume you're still in possession of it, could you bring it here, yeah, okay, the beer contains traces of cold medicine. The amount suggests it was mixed in. Which means what exactly? It is highly likely that Nomoto intentionally mixed cold medicine into this beer. What happens when you mix cold medicine and beer? 
Suzuko had a cold, so he was in a frail state. Furthermore, cold medicine and beer is a dangerous combination. At worst, it could put him in a comatose state. Comatose? You gave him something that dangerous at the bath? Exactly. As long as he wasn't standing in it, even though water level wouldn't be enough would be enough to drown him. But then it was also very likely that Sataka intended to give this poisoned wine to Namato. But he didn't drink it now, did he? So is there any chance he was going for a double soup? That wouldn't have though. Sasaka was a germaphobic, so he wouldn't be willing to share the same drink. Like the matter said, if he had been knocked comatized by the cold beer of medicine and drowned in the bath, it could have been dismissed as a simple accident. It was because we detected poison in Sasaka's body and the wine that we decided this might not be an accident and began an investigation. That means, Namato, what? You thought that he died with only his front half wet. Could you explain that in a bit more detail? What are the details of it? Is it what it is? He fell into the foot bath as planned and didn't like he had the power to get up. So just like that, I left the area. Then, don't you think he might have managed to get back up and drink the poison wine by him? He bought himself. He himself also. He what? So then, Sataka drank the wine on purpose, so that his death would be declared an accident. Indeed. Now, let's sum all this up. First of all, having been summoned there by Sataka, Nemoto went to a foot bath with cold medicine for him, as well as beer he mixed the medicine into. After getting him to drink the beer as per as, as part of his expectations, he watched Sataka collapse into his into the bath, figured he would drown, and left the area to return to his room. However, most unexpectedly, Sataka had also prepared poisoned wine. By drinking the wine himself, he made it into a poisoning so it, into poisoning, improving the odds that it would not have been seen as an accident. In short, both parties were trying to kill each other in that place. I suppose drinking his own poisoned wine was his last form of resistance. Yes, that is the truth of the case. The culprit is you, Namato. Both trying to kill each other, no way. It was a while ago when our relationship started to fall apart. Namato, from the start, us and our styles were totally different. I didn't care though, that guy though. Seems he couldn't stand it. Sutaka couldn't? Yeah. Being so him bring, so him being a perfectionist, it was his strength and his weakness. He's always been snapping at me. I told him I ain't gonna change just for you. Me? I do things the way I believe in. But I guess he and I fought real different. There at the foot bath, he told me. <laughs> <laughs> well, when your looks and your playing are that disgusting, a good rival. Hmm. Don't give me that rubbish. Hmm. Then, if that's true, then why? How were you and Saka able to look happy when we were all together? If your friendship has gotten that awful, why didn't our friendship long since fall apart? Actually, you said that before too. If we were hateful enough to want to kill each other, our relationship would have been through long ago. But you were wrong about that. Me and Sataka, we both had a reason to stay. Huh? You're real dense. Nemoto? There's one more thing. Can I ask you one last question? What? This murder plot, did you think it up all on your own? Nah, couldn't have done it myself. I knew it's weird for me to say, but I'm a moron too. Could never think of something like this alone. Then who was it? Well, what's wrong? I don't know. Uh, I got an awful headache. This has happened twice now. Uh. Can't do much about that. We'll talk to you later. We're sorry. The little girl also suffered from a headache while being integrated one last time, and now he's got a headache. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Yes. 
While we do live in advanced times, technology isn't precise enough to detect the specific brand of alcohol for a sample. Even if you'd known the beer brand from reading the can, the wine bottle Sataka brought had its label removed. Um, sorry, I used it. <sighs> Your ability to just convert the world into numbers and analyze it all it might be handy, but it really breaks things. Including the gameplay in this case. What are you even talking about? Anyway, please be careful in the future. Right, sorry. Why is your all crunching numbers and analyzing? Mm. Let's see, for example, Amuro. Say you're thinking something but not saying it. I can see even things like that as numbers. Then by converting them, I can tell what you're thinking. Well, so as far as Nan sees it, I might as well be stripped down to my shivvies. Exactly. Exactly what? Anyway, once again, like with Muru, he had a sudden headache while trying to remember his collaborator. Just what is happening? Didn't see any signs of him being hacked. Sure enough, looks like there's a real chance it's that killer. Perhaps, but we aren't getting much information like this. I'm exhausted again today. Let's disperse for now. Get some rest and lock up. You too, Nancy. Amaru. You betcha. This photographer turned out to be a real gem. Two days in a row of people dying, and neither copper can't remember a collaborator's name. Just what is this? If it was just one, yeah, but two... Suspicious. The black-haired one was just too clever, so he lost. He should have just gone with his instinct. Uh, but I hope it'll be soon. After all, I'm getting tired of his appearance. Black Clover. Any more guests for the fray? Phew. I've calmed down a little, but... Okay, we're going to end up here once again because I think that's long enough for us, folks. So, thank you very much for watching. We're going to see each other in the next time of One Beat Heart. Beating us towards this case, we're hopefully going to find out this collaborator which has been the cause of both the assertions of these murders and also the headaches themselves. So, thank you very much for watching and take care of yourselves.